This could be the most important game we play on this channel this season because our season depends on today's game. Let's see if we can make it count. What's up guys, I'm Chasing Lamely. Welcome to episode number 18 of Sunderland Till I'm Sacked. I forgot the name of the series and I almost said Passport to Poland. There's a winner. Anyway, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more me messing up the easiest intro in the world. Today we're playing Hull City and it's only one game has passed since we played last time out. So we played Blackpool and I said we had to win it to keep up the chase on Hull. So we lost 3-1, Deshaun Burner getting sent off, Colin Quainer scoring, but we just weren't at the races the entire time, if I'm completely honest. So today we play Hull and we are still sitting 8 points behind. We essentially do have to beat Hull to have any chance now, with 4 games left of winning the title. But we still have a small chance, well I say a small chance, we have a very big chance of securing our place in the playoff. A win today would secure us our place in the playoff, more or less, I think. Quick Mass says we're 8 points clear of Portsmouth. Win today, get playoffs. That's the plan. Let's just do it before I forget how to speak English again, because it's been a very long day. So we're going to do all the opposition instructions, and then we're going to see if we can just ride this one out. The team today is Burge, Fosu, Menton, Mengi, Shemajli and Hume, Clark, Dobson, Jones, Shasher on the left-hand side, because Andre Green is not fully fit. We've got Miller and Quain are up top. Maguire, Willis, Embleton, Curry, the Silver, Gooch, and O'Neill on the bench. So it's a fairly strong lineup. I'm a bit nervous about having Shasha on the left hand side. He can't actually really play as a left sided midfielder. He is a more attacking player. I'm hoping he'll adapt. Just turn on a performance like we've seen from earlier in the season. In terms of the team talk, I've got no advice from the assistant, which is interesting. I think we're probably going to do a let's raise our game. Denny Hume seems like he cares, which is good. We'll get into it and we'll see if we can start things off the way we mean to go on, get an early goal and assert some dominance, see if we can spook them into a bad run of form in the back end of the season. First highlight, Curtis Jones with a corner, plays it to Dobson. Dobson plays back to Fosu Mentor and back to Curtis Jones, who tries the cross, doesn't really get it anywhere. And now they're on the counter. Connolly lays it off to Scott. We really need to get back, regroup, focus. Connolly picks it up to Smallwood, back to Slater. Can Slater do anything? He's going on a run at us, plays it through to Connolly. Great last ditch tackle. Batty has a pop and it's it's done. It's done. We're, we've survived. Another highlight and uh, Scott to Slater. Slater back to Scott. Scott on the byline now. Can he get a ball in? Fosu meant to go for a sliding tackle. Forces them to play the ball back to McLaughlin. Ball headed at the back post. It's off the bar and it's clear. Can Shash will get rid of this? Can we maybe build a counter? That would be ideal. We just need to get ourselves... We haven't seen anything of ourselves on the ball specifically. So we need to get back into this. Connolly picks it up, plays it back to Batty. And it's Emmanuel on the right-hand side. Back to Batty. Ball over the top. Back to Emmanuel. He's got acres of space. Gets the cross in. Connolly is there. Connolly has two shots, but he finally gets it in. We're one goal down and things have not started well. And we very much need to regroup and buck our ideas up. Because that is not the way to start a game against the league leaders. If we lose today, it's going to be a real grind to get us through to the end of the season. If Oxford win today, we are going to have to face the playoffs. I can kind of feel that coming. I've got a weird sneaking suspicion we are going to find ourselves playing the playoffs. Oxford have gone ahead of us already by virtue of currently being drawing their, the game in play. With 20 minutes on the clock, Curtis Jones picks up the ball and plays out Denny Hume on the left-hand side. Denny Hume can't get the cross and I think we're going to get hit on the counter again. We've not been at all good. You can see from the ratings at the bottom of the screen. We've not been at all good as Connolly runs into the box. Nobody's impressing me today. Tatum Mengi's got himself sent off and given away a penalty. Or at least given away a penalty. He's avoided getting sent off. But I think it's going to be a case of that he needs to calm down. He needs to calm down rapidly. Scott with the penalty. Places it bottom corner. I'm going to tell Tatum Mengi to calm down before he really puts us in trouble. Not that he hasn't done so already with that absolute debacle, but we are really up against it now. Coming back from 2-0 down is going to be a real challenge, especially with a team of players who don't look in the slightest bit meant, are motivated right now. If I'm completely honest, I need to figure out some kind of new plan, I think, at half-time. They've got a free kick now. Smallwood whips it over the top. Lee Burge picks out the air. 
tries to power up the field and just plays it straight into Daniel Batty and that's one of the dumbest goalkeeping decisions I think I've ever witnessed. And that's officially us in the playoffs now. I don't know what he was thinking here. Smallwood plays it in. Burge just goes immediately, immediately for the free, for the clearance. He had all the time in the world. Could have waited for the box to clear out. Entirely his mistake. And we've got a, a kick off. Well, we're going from kick off on the highlight. Miller plays out to Shashua. Shashua on the left hand side plays it to Hume. Hume needs to get something happening here. Jones does nothing. Hume has a good go. Clark is there at the back post. He can't quite get it away and he's offside anyway. And that sort of sums up our luck. And I could really ring the changes at half time. If I don't see something big happening straight out of the blocks in the second half, I am going to definitely, definitely start removing some players from this uh, from this side or, you know, subbing some players off. As half time ticks around, we've just been massacred, quite frankly. I feel like it's going to have to be, I expect a much better showing from you in the second half. That's all I have to offer. Let's hope we get that much better showing in the second half. Corner for us, Curtis Jones plays out to Denny Hume. Can Denny Hume improve his crossing in the second half? He has a pop and frankly it was unnecessary. Ball spilled out though, Curtis Jones has picked it up again. Plays it into the box, there's no one there for it. We've got ourselves another corner as Scott really rushed that clearance. There was no one around him. Had time to turn and hoof it upfield and now Jones picks it back up. Plays it to Dobson. Dobson to Fosu Mensa. Timothy Fosu Mensa has a pop. Long turns the ball behind. We've got ourselves another corner. It looks like we've showed up to fight in the second half. See if we can at least scrape this back to a draw. Curtis Jones will take the corner again. Plays it short to Hume. Back to Curtis Jones. Whipped over the top. Greaves is there with the header and Dobson will pick it up and this might be the end of things. Fosu Mensa back to Dobson. Mengi. And yeah, our luck ran out. Throw in at four hull. Scott to Slater. Slater to McLaughlin. What can McLaughlin do here? hopefully give the ball away otherwise we're going to be in real trouble and we could go 4-0 down Hume heads it clear to Dobson to Jones plenty of options around us can we make something happen here Shashua back on the run down the left hand side gets a crossing Miller is there Liam Miller gets a goal and maybe just maybe we're in with a shot of getting ourselves back into this game I'm going to yell some encouragement as soon as I can because we need to start thinking we can get ourselves back into this Taylor Mengi is going to have to come off very shortly because his performance has been appalling and his booking has not helped. But this will at least help me have some decisions to make when it comes to taking players off. And I think we're going to be okay if we can just pick up the fight a little bit. But throw in for Hull on our right hand side. Greaves hoofs it forward. Mengi picks it up. And actually, before I forget, I'm going to take Taylor and Mengi off. Ball goes forward to Quayna. Quayna finds Miller. Miller. On the right-hand side, can he make anything happen? Gets the ball inside to Quayna and Quayna heads it just over. And that is the time for Taylor Mengi to be withdrawn. And I am going to look at some other subs in just a second. It's just going to be a case of who, when, where and why. Okay, sub time and Jack Clark is coming off. I'm going to send Lyndon Gooch on for him. I think Colin Quayna is going to have to be the guy that comes out because even though Shashua is booked, Jones is tired, it just feels like that's the right move going forward. I might actually try something risky here because I've got nothing to lose. I think we're going to put Curtis Jones up top because he can play as a striker. And I think we're going to put Luke, uh, Elliot Embleton. We'll put Elliot Embleton into the middle. Let's let's see if we get lucky, shall we? Let's see if we get lucky on this one. Throw in on our left-hand side, Willis to take it. Throws it to Embleton. Back to Hume to Embleton. Embleton has options. Connolly goes flying, does nothing, so Willis has it back. Ball inside to Lyndon Gooch. Lyndon Gooch heads it down, Miller can't quite get to it. Lewis Potter has cleared it, and well, it's been cleared. Lewis Potter is going to chase it down because nobody is tracking back, and we very much need to get ourselves a defence going here fast. Burge makes the save, two saves. Definitely saved us from going 4-1 down. That is without a shadow of a doubt, and it could have been far, far more dangerous. McGuinness has the ball now, heading towards us. Dotty to Smallwood. Smallwood plays out to Emmanuel. Emmanuel options around and back to Smallwood and we, we need to win this ball back fast. Slater through to Doherty. Our defence is all over the place. They've lost their shape. Lewis Potter is through and that is 4-1. And that was utterly atrocious defending. It was like earlier in the season. You, you would never believe watching this team that at one stage we want our 10 win unbeaten after our 10 win streak. Because... The defence is all over the place here. Just, there's no one in position. They've all been pulled all over the shop. Absolutely ridiculous. You'd think you were watching a Sunday League side with defending like that. And I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm out of ideas. Lewis Potter there. Just He wasn't offside. 
and it's just worked out badly for us. We've got ourselves a corner. Can we at least score another goal? Lyndon Gooch will take it, plays it short to Embleton. Embleton back to Gooch, out to Hume. And Denny Hume does something, whips it in, but it doesn't find a man. They're all kind of packing the defence quite quite tightly. Fosu Mentor will pick it up on the uh, touchline, and can he get the ball forward to someone? Does get it forward? Is Dobson going to get there? He's not. Willis will, though. What can Willis do? All the way back to Lee Burge, which is probably not the one we were looking for. Ball forward to Embleton. Embleton plays it out wide to Hume, but Hume just not enough weight on the pass. And Wilkes is coming through. Can we? Oh, we've avoided. We've avoided conceding a fifth, but by the skin of our teeth. And there's lots of questions to be asked about this team right now, and it's going to be time to berate them and hope that bucks someone's ideas up. We're hanging on to second because Oxford are losing to Wimbledon somehow, but we're narrowly hanging on. Burge has the ball now. Can he get it forward? Does pass to Willis, a short pass, ball way upfield, into Jones, can Jones do something, he's looked okay so far, plays in Lyndon Gooch, Lyndon Gooch, he's gone down, he must have been the last man, McLaughlin is being called over, I'm going to go very attacking, because if they're going to go down to 10 men, we do at least have a fighting chance of getting ourselves something from this game, although it's going to tick by without anyone doing anything, 30 seconds left to play, McGinnis throws it into Slater to Lewis Potter, who can just hold it there and nothing will happen really. Just need to get the ball off him. Fosu Mensa goes in. Dangerous tackle. Dobson. Big ball forward. No one really there for it. It's been headed out. And I think that's probably going to be all she wrote for this game. Because I cannot imagine we are getting back into this in the next 30 seconds. Fosu Mensa with a throw down on the line to Miller. Smallwood tackles him. And the whistle you've got to think must be coming. I can't imagine we're going to get any big extensions to time added on. Long throw coming in from Willis. Can he do something with it? Way into the mix. A Lyndon Gooch won't get there. Greaves heads it clear. And the ref has called time on our misery. Hull are the champions of League One. I mean, them winning the game made that inevitable anyway. And we get to see a trophy celebration. Sadly, not our own trophy celebration. We do get to see a trophy celebration at the very least. It could have been us. If only we'd not dropped the points against... Blackpool dropped the points today, it could, it could have been us, but now we just play for second, we go again, we do want the automatic promotion spot, that is what we're going to aim for, I like the new the new trophy animation, and it'd be nice if we could maybe see it for ourselves one day, we're going to skip into the post-match, I think and I'm not happy with your performance out there is probably the one, people seem vaguely motivated, we'll go with it. So with the title out of reach, we have got three more games left to play, we're playing African Stanley who sit 10th. We're playing Plymouth, who sits 13th, and then we're playing Northampton on the last day of the season. That'll be the next episode, who are bottom of the table. Hopefully, we can just win the next two games. We can go into this next one without any worries that if we just beat Northampton, we can secure automatic promotion, but it's going to be touch and go. In the meantime, though, guys, I'm going to leave it there, because that feels like the right plan. As always, you can find me on the socials below. That's Insta, Twitter, and Patreon. I'm Chasing Lamely. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, which is somewhere around there. Magic graphic because magic graphics make me happy. Don't don't hate. Don't hate. Appreciate. Oh my God, I'm stuck in 1991. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I have, as always, been chasing lamely, and I'll see you very soon. Have a good one.